Let's discuss image import profiles, which facilitate image ingestion into FlexiCapture for processing. To get started, you can click on the project, Image Import Profiles and New. And this launches a wizard. You can create an import profile for a scanner. The scanner must be connected, and this is really used for administrative testing only. But for production, you can also create an import profile pointing to a local folder or a mailbox or an FTP site. Let's think about connecting to a local folder first off. There's a permissions consideration. Let's say this is my local folder, my network folder. The processing station is a service and the processing station has a login ID. That login ID has to have read-write access to the folder in order for a hot folder to work. So for FlexiCapture Distributed, don't forget to provide the UNC path instead of a local path such as C colon slash my hot folder. To use an FTP site, provide the FTP path and FTP folder access settings. Also, documents can be imported as inbound email attachments and or message bodies via MAPI or POP3. So this interface is for importing from Microsoft Exchange Mailbox. And the POP3 setting is a protocol for local email clients to receive emails from remote servers. To use the POP3 server, specify the username and password from the mailbox and make sure that the required port is opened. To use the MAPI mailbox, a special dedicated mailbox should be created for importing images, say with a username such as FlexiCapture import user. And then processing stations that perform imports should be launched under this user account. Further settings for different image ingestion profiles are almost the same. Let's see them with a local folder example. We'll just go ahead and enter into our path here. Images can be added to a current or a specified batch or a new batch that can be created for imported images. That's probably what you're going to want to keep your setting at. Create new batches for imported images automatically. And then you want to select the proper settings. In particular, which batch type you want to associate this image import profile with. And with document images placed into a hot folder, you can place description files, which are auxiliary files that define how a batch is formed when images are added to the hot folder. The document description files can be in different formats, Captiva QuickScan, Capture Software for Kodak, as well as a more generic XML file format. Next, you'll want to specify the number of files to add. If you specify single or all files, Really, no other configuration needs to be done. But if you select according to description file, that requires that an additional file gets placed in, say, the hot folder. And a description file is an auxiliary file that defines how a batch is formed, as I stated, when images are added from the hot folder. Depending on the format of the description file, different file sets are used to form a batch. The program can use a variety of types of description files. One again is Captiva QuickScan file where all the image files listed in the description file are added to the batch. The order of the image files in the batch is the same as in the description file. You can also use a capture software for Kodak file where the image files that are located in the folder 
of the Kodak batch are added to the batch in ascending order of the file names. The path to the folder from which images are added is specified in the batch key of the properties section of the star.ini description file. Images from subfolders are also added to the batch. Another type of description file is the empty file. This file serves as a marker showing that a new batch must be created. The contents of the file are irrelevant. Only the name is important. Images are added from the hot folder in alphabetical order. When a file with this name corresponding to the mask specified in the file name field is found, the system will create a new batch. As mentioned, there's also an XML description file. This is an XML file that contains a documented structure. An XML file is used when the other three types cannot be used, but a custom description file can be generated. If you select the From Subfolder option, files will be added from subfolders whose names comply with the naming scheme you specify, where a star means any character sequence in the subfolder name and a question mark me means any single character in this subfolder name. To add several files, select Number of Files to Add, Several File Settings, and when you click on Settings, you can enter a range of numeric values. And files from subfolders, in this case, will be ignored. Note that if you specify a certain number of files, say five, and there are only four files left in the hot folder, these files will not be imported. If you specify a range such as one to five, the remaining four files will be imported. 